Hi, my name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. I'm going to do a reading of a translation made by Max Nosen of a presentation presented on the 3rd of October 2018 by Zatalepin that is based on work done by Zetalepin and the Baranov in Laboratory in Leas, Moscow. And the title of the presentation is On the Weight of Rotating Bodies. The original presentation can be found in Russian on our YouTube channel and it will be in the description of this video. We all know that gyroscopes are behaving in some strange ways. If anyone ever sees the procession of a gyroscope, it is mesmerizing. The gyroscope spinning on the hard surface is processing but not falling. There are formulas showing why it is not falling. The conservation of momentum laws explain why a gyroscope should not fall, but there are some doubts still remaining about the cause of the effect. Levitation as a gyroscopic effect. There are approaches being developed by Shipov as to why gyros do not fall. There is Olkovsky physics, not well developed, but it has the equations for a processing gyro shown here. By solving these equations where P is the reaction of support, P, impulse, L, impulse momentum, omega, precession frequency, you can see that reaction of the support is less than mg. That is strange. Precession of gyroscope law. On this slide is an explanation of the derivation of the previously given formula. We're going to skip this. Schematics of weighing with lever scales in equilibrium. We decided to test this theory. At the same time, we wanted to take a look at strange radiation. Zetelepin turns to Parkamov. By the way, your claims that you are a lab rabbit to study strange radiation by sitting close to the reactor are ungrounded. You have a huge lab and sit too far from the reactor. I'm sorry, but you are not a rabbit. We also had some other work represented by a poster since we didn't have an opportunity to present it. What is significant in that work is that we used water and water has a dipole structure. In general, the science on electrodynamics of dipole environments is not well developed. For some reason, people consider only monopoles, charges, as of interest but ignore dipoles. But in reality, a dipole generates electrical field and moving dipole generates magnetic field. And we show in our research that when moving water, many mysterious things appear to be happening. We also had a feeling that similar processes might be affecting levitation and that is why we built this setup. The aluminium frame holds a round disc with a water pipe all that is suspended on a dynamometer and balanced. In essence, it is a set of suspended scales. An electric motor spins the disc with the water. Everything is affixed to the floor to prevent spinning due to momentum conservation. The setup is schematically displayed on previous slide. It is important to note that we are spinning water inside of the disc. Water has a gigantic dipole moment, but boron nitride has a moment of up to 10,000 times that of water. What we discovered was that when we initiated spin, we first got vibration, but then it calmed down. When spinning at up to 10,000 revolutions per minute, nothing was detectable. Then when we stopped, we saw vibrations again, and so we realized that we needed more precise measurements. We therefore bought digital scales with sampling rate five times per second. Electronic scales variant. New improved setup. Yellow block is the electronic scales. Red block is a disc with test substance. First, we started with dielectric material. I'll briefly mention that we had to spend time to rule out parametric resonance, as was defined by Kapitza. The embodiment of the test setup. On the right side is a bowl with wax. 
we plotted recorded weight clockwise and counterclockwise. Spikes correspond to acceleration deceleration periods. The acceleration plays a crucial role here. We speculate on the existence of a force F proportional to omega. A is a certain constant. The weight change of the wax disc during change of angular velocity. We saw a weight change of a 19.8 gram disc of up to 12.1 grams. We speculated that the formula can be applied in reverse, i.e. every linear acceleration should cause the body to spin. We decided to test this on another setup called the slingshot. Red is a rubber band. The wax disc is accelerated by the rubber band. At the end of a 1.5 meter run, the disc with a diameter of 6 centimeter turns between 20 and 30 degrees. This effect is absolutely reproducible. Interestingly, if we replace the wax with a metal disc, the turn effect is amplified to as much as 100 degrees. Linear acceleration leads to emergence of angular momentum. Calculation of B coefficient for a wax disc. Dynamics of a massive non-point object. Newton's laws are focused on the description of point object dynamics. Newton's laws have to be corrected to work for non-point objects like all real objects in nature. We simply propose to amend the existing Newton formulas to account for new forces acting on non-point objects. Strong dependency between rotations and motion for different materials. Dielectric. During accelerated rotation there is a visible linear force. Metal. During accelerated rotation there is weak linear force. Dielectric. During accelerated linear motion there is a weak rotation. Metal. Very strong rotation during accelerated linear motion. All that is due to high variance in A and B coefficients for metals and dielectrics. We need to make flying saucers with dielectrics, not metals. Preliminary results of research into plasma effects during metal body impact. The last two researchers on the list are from Bauman State Technical University, Moscow. We discuss preliminary results of a bullet traveling at 1,200 meters per second impacting a hard obstacle in the form of a special shaped cup. Heating of the cup was 1.5 to 2 times greater than the bullet's kinetic energy. Bullet impact experiment schematic. Left to right, smooth barrel gun, plug, bullet, yellow projector, 175 kilohertz camera, ruler, target. Nobody can explain the thermal energy gain of up to two times over kinetic. Different stages of bullet flight. Bismuth bullet. Pay attention. The flight is initially nice and smooth, but then it gets distorted and starts to lose some material. It is in a wild spin. The second sign of spin is the shape of the smoke trail behind the bullet. Now at this point an argument ensues in the audience about the evidence of the spin and it looks like Rutskarev uh, was not satisfied. What is the reason for violation of the impulse conservation law, impulse of momentum and energy? Newton assumed that all bodies are points. Our experiment shows that all non-point bodies are interacting with some kind of substance, environment, a third body. This uncontrolled substance, environment, has an electromagnetic nature. 
We can derive this because it affects metals and dielectrics differently. We can call it electromagnetic matter. How this surrounding matter can lead to the violation of Newton's laws. We need to make an assumption about this new matter. It consists of particles having not only impulse, but also a moment of impulse. Cross-section of interaction of such particles depends not only on relative speed, but also on angular velocity. Rotation under the influence of gravity. We also acknowledge that gravity is an acceleration force too. Experiments show that dielectric and metal bodies do not rotate during free fall. Two important conclusions. Gravitation field transfers to the body not only impulse but momentum as well. This momentum compensates the one arising from the body's acceleration. Gravitational field has an electromagnetic nature, hence it discriminates dielectrics and metals. We conclude that the origin of inertia and gravity is the same. The low energy neutrino is a good candidate for an electromagnetic particle. Concept proposed by Muromtsev, 1934 to 2012. Numeric parameters are given, rest energy and so on. Rotation of ball lightning and objects in plasma. Left. Actual ball lightning, 2009. Surface rotation, 100,000 kilometers per second. Right. Laser induced compressed plasma. Surface rotation, 40,000 kilometers per second. U is a colossal speed of rotation, at least on the surface, done by using Doppler technique. Why are we talking about all these effects during this conference? It is because of ball lightning rotation. More examples of ball lightning. Note that there is always some kind of axial structure in all of these objects manifesting rotation. The axis is not always vertical. The proportion of blue and red color is changing over time. That is evidence that rotational speed is changing as well, which can explain why boil lightning levitates. Turbulence as a result of accelerated motion. This is well known to the hydrodynamicist. We know that in a surface layer, the flat motion becomes three-dimensional, causing the liquid to accelerate, causing rotation. In classic hydrodynamics, such concept is missing. Here you can see the rotation of the mushroom cloud leg, just for a bit of entertainment. Conclusions 1. During accelerated motion or rotation, there is a violation of Newtonian mechanics which leads to the conclusion about the existence of hard-to-spot matter. 2. This matter is electromagnetic by nature because it affects metals and dielectrics differently. 3. Gravitation affects metals and dielectrics differently as well which can be an indication that gravitation too is caused by this matter. 4. Ball lightning levitates since it rotates with variable frequency. We can go further and explain why strange radiation tracks are composed of spinning particles. They decelerate and therefore start to rotate. And that ends the presentation of Zetalepin on the 3rd of October 2018